Fallout 76 has been a never-ending parade of shit for Bethesda ever since its ill-advised launch last year, and the parade hasn't stopped. It's just not stopped, and it appears to be going on marching through the streets for all eternity. The latest issue in a long, 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 long line of issues is a recent patch for Fallout 76 that fixes a few things, introduces a few new bugs because of course, and resurrects old bugs that had already been fixed. Well done, Bethesda. Well done. Bethesda's really, really, really good at bugs and glitches. It's one of its fortes. This is, after all, a company that can release patches that break games worse than their launch state in utterly bizarre ways. We saw this with the originally released Skyrim back in the day, with the backwards flying dragons and the removal of resistances that occurred after its big patch. And here we are again, Bethesda providing yet another unique and interesting way of breaking a game in only a way Bethesda can. These are bugs that were fixed, dealt with, people had put them in the past, and as of the latest patch, they're just simply back. Among the returning bugs are heavy bobby pins, so if you've patched the game and you log back in and you've been carrying bobby pins, you might find yourself over encumbered and crawling around really slow, because fuck that game's encumberment system to begin with. An item duplication bug has also come back after being patched out. Uh, quite why a new patch has brought back old issues remains to be seen. All we know from Bethesda is the usual line of they're aware of the issues, they're working on it, and I'm sure in due time, if not already, these issues will be patched out. But it's yet another slice of bad press that continues to make Fallout 76 look like a monument to ineptitude. As well as the game itself just being bad, it's had a litany of issues and problems, uh, bugs, glitches, design faults, everything that could go wrong with this game appears to have gone wrong, is going wrong, or will go wrong. And this is on top of things Bethesda itself has actively done to foster mistrust and anger from the crowd. You know, things like lying about the game's special edition and its contents. I've said before I want to do a post-mortem of Fallout 76, discuss the ups and the downs. Well, the up and the downs, well the downs, and I've been unable to because it doesn't seem like the humiliation has an end in sight. And here we are again, we're in 2019 now, right on the last day of January, and I'm talking about another problem with Fallout 76, another one that's worthy enough to put into a post-mortem because it's just exemplifying the overall problems with not just Fallout 76, but Bethesda itself. That's something we need to look at here. We need to ask ourselves, why is it always Bethesda? Why is it always Bethesda? And why is every single one of the games they make a beacon for bullshit like this? Look, games have bugs. The best games can have bugs. Massive open world games especially. There's a lot going on there. And yet, it's Bethesda every single time that has more bugs and more ludicrous bugs. I can't think of another developer on Bethesda's level in that triple A space that so reliably produces broken games to the point where we've all just accepted that the games will be broken. And especially these days with the amount of open world games we have and the volume of them that are running just fine, the, the, the excuse that they're big open world games doesn't work anymore. So while many of us do appreciate that yes, bugs happen, yes, these are massive, expensive, ambitious projects being made, other developers on this level are doing just fine without the bugs being so routine. We're not surprised when something this absurd happens happens, where you can patch in old, already fixed bugs, and it's not even a shock anymore. Any other company, this would be quite surprising. Bethesda, not at all, and that's something we really need to look at. Well, I say we need to look at it, Bethesda needs to look at it more than anybody else, because it can't keep coasting on its reputation forever, especially when games like Fallout 76 come out and basically torpedo said reputation. The goodwill ain't gonna last forever, and Bethesda's been spending it like it's chocolate fucking money. Craig, does that work as a thing? 
spending it like it's because you can't spend chocolate money can you but it has no inherent value as a monetary like that was the point of it like it had no value but the fact it has no value means it doesn't work as a as an expenditure fuck fuck i've bethesda it thunder, 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 yes. What more could go wrong? Really, what more could go wrong with Fallout 76? The sky's the limit. We're at a level with Fallout 76 where we're gonna have to call it and my, just please forgive me for this, for, for what I'm about to say, um, because it's gonna be harsh and brutal and maybe a bit offensive, but we're at the point where we can call Fallout 76 a fiasco. We really can. And I'm sorry I had to say that, but that is the situation we find ourselves in. It is a fiasco, and we are going to have to accept that and examine it and ask why Bethesda keeps on having fiascos with this game and with other games and with just being Bethesda in general. I mean, really, it should just stick to being a publisher at this point. Like, just publish Doom and Wolfenstein, just publish its games and pay Obsidian whatever money it takes to make all of your original IP for you forever. Just as soon as Obsidian's done making The Outer Worlds, which unlike Fallout 76, actually looks like it's gonna be fucking good. 